So the grand success of crash course given by Ikra in 2020 is destined to be repeated in 2021. Biggest gift of this program, biggest. In case you decide to join for the GS program next year, you will get this 5000 relaxation. This course is very good, is also very good for new aspirants who are planning to give in 2022 and 23. For them it will be a boon. In this course they will know what exactly to do in prelims. It's not only for those who are appearing in 2021, it's for all the future aspirants. This 5000 will help you to save at least your 50,000 and many of your mental hassle. As you took it happily last year, you will again come to us for the revision, for the preparation of this examination and hope to see you soon in Ikra. Thank you. Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well and uh, keeping yourself safe during this uh, pandemic. Uh, we are uh, now uh, going to have topics of environment ecology and uh, uh, very soon I will start with the class of environment ecology where I will discuss uh, uh, various areas which have remained in the news. Whether it is in terms of climate change, global warming and climate change or wildlife and biodiversity conservation part or in terms of the ecological system, uh, sustainable development, important conventions, uh, government programs, initiatives. There are a lot of topics are there which we need to cover from the current perspective. So uh, today I am just giving you the overview to what exactly I am going to uh, know, cover in the classroom here. I thank Ikra IAS for inviting me for this particular session and I hope that you already have covered basic concepts in ecology and environment in your regular uh, classes there wherever you have done um, you are you have done gone through all the important theory part of it right which are the static part of it i will be covering the dynamic part of it right with respect to current uh, development so environment ecology let's have a general overview here this subject uh, and the way the upsc is asking questions in the prelims examination right uh, has become very challenging and particularly in the prelims exam, right? If you see the number of questions in the examination, uh, prelims uh, examination, and since in this crash course program of ICRA IS, you are going to you now attempt the 2021 paper there. Around again, you will find here every year something around here again 12 to 15 questions are being asked from multiple choice questions are there. Uh, from environment ecology part of it, right? And uh, you'll find that this subject is a dynamic subject. It's a very dynamic subject in the context that uh, you'll find here a lot of areas are being now uh, focused into that and uh, uh, questions are from every aspect of it. Let's say you'll, you'll find the questions will be both from the point of view of a, a static part at the same time the dynamic part of it. So let me just bring about here, like for example, uh, questions will be in terms of if we'll take here, let me just uh, uh, give you more understanding aspect of it. So if you take here, uh, the question will be in such a way that you'll be able to, right, you know, solve them if you know the current topics in a better way. Let's say for example here, um, in this context, uh, if I have to bring about what you need to you know, focus from the preparation point of view. The first one will be here, that is uh, in terms of the knowing all the basic uh, fundamental concepts, whether on conservation of wildlife and biodiversity part, right? Acts and uh, policies uh, with respect to wildlife conservation in India, global warming and climate change concepts, right? Any such area, right, you have already covered. That is basically from the textbook. Right, whichever the standard textbook you follow, right, I assume that you have gone through those kind of uh, areas there. And when you solve the question, based on the key con key concept, you have key words given there. 
those key words will be related to that particular concept of environment ecology which upsc is trying to test in the examination question there second what comes here is that there are also number of facts let's say i use some red data book critically endangered species endangered species right vulnerable species right uh, which make headlines which are there in the headlines there right so even habitat national park sanctuary biosphere reserve tiger reserve elephant reserve right so there there will be certain facts will be there right climate change conferences cop conference of parties there right all it's a biodiversity cbd convention on biodiversity ramsar convention on wetlands of interest importance and now we have got uh, uh, 42 ramsar sites in india right so there are certain facts will be there and those facts you have to memorize you have to remember right so here this facts becomes very important these are the important facts because if you don't know those facts it will be difficult for you to get to the correct option given the question but again not all facts you don't have to mug up all the facts i i mentioned here important facts let's say ramsar sites in india right national parks which have made headlines whether it's bandipur or nagar hole or let's say bhadra or let's say mudumalai or dudwa national park any kind of a national park tiger reserves right elephant reserve something which is made headlines which are new ones there the wetlands with the bird habitats important bird areas see but all such facts which you have covered in the textbook read right, that one that you have to be already be aware plus you have to know those facts about habitats or wildlife species and the government programs policies or worldwide development right from the current perspective so here this fact should be in related to current uh, development the current uh, uh, development it has to be current perspective let's say which national park has made headlines in the recent time and in what context it has made headlines about any particular type of bird or particular type of animal right then you have to be aware of that so current perspective based on that facts you have to be aware right then what comes here which you have to know from global development global perspective and uh, at the same time national perspective and particularly national perspective what comes here is that uh, pib press information bureau right so here particularly the national perspective here moefcc ministry of environment forest and climate change uh, uh, reports publications government programs which have made headlines then whatever has come into the pib website press information bureau right then in terms of the newspapers whatever the newspapers you have covered hindu or indian express or the times of india which other newspapers are there then the magazines important magazines like down to earth and geography and you and all those kind of important magazines yojana kurukshetra right all those kind of magazines right uh, which you have been following there india year book and all this part right even the tv channel the newspaper news channel which you watch right um, so there also somewhere sometimes environmental perspective will be there let the pollution aspect right uh, delhi pollution or any kind of pollution river conservation right uh, lake conservation right air pollution land pollution right uh, there are lot of issues are there with respect to environment in present time and they are covered in the news channel tv channel now different perspective come into and this subject is so dynamic you can connect with any area of general studies whether it is geography or science and technology or economic policies or let's say in terms of the societal and social aspect of that you can connect with any aspect on the environment and ecology part that's what upsc questions may not be always purely ecological and environmental even that will connect with the other area of general studies and question can be asked like for for example geography right particular geography let's say in terms of uh, rivers mountains hills right uh, indigenous tribes right that based on that the question can be asked climate change is again linked with geography ozone layer depletion geographical aspect pollution so there are lot of interconnection with geography can be there right not only that even let's say socio economic policies of the government of india whether it's the farm sector agriculture or horticulture or forestry again the environmental conservation comes into Uh, point there right again based on that the questions are asked global perspective conventions conferences uh, right uh, organizations in what organizations 
all those things questions can be can be asked in the upsc examination there right so that's what it becomes very very important and uh, we will cover every aspect from current development right current development in the examination because this all will be really very very important uh, from the coming prelims examination and ikra is will be trying to uh, try to give you the every aspect um, from the examination point of view and i will try to bring about all the aspect in the classroom there and my focus is that the students who have gone through regular classroom program they are at least feeling confident to solve the questions in the examination right so uh, we will start very soon the classes on involved ecology today i have given you the introductory session right so i'll i'll request all of you to revise all the basic concept whatever you have covered in the textbook then please revise be prepared with it the moment when i start it will be roller coaster <laughs> a classes there i will be covering from various aspect and it is going to be very very interesting very relevant and exam perspective so we are going to learn lot of topics there i'll start from one level and then i'll slowly build up on to the higher level of that so we we'll all will enjoy the classes there and you will be learning in the classroom right as i will keep on teaching you are going to imbibe learn and remember it for the examination there all right so uh, uh, just revise the, all the key areas right uh, on um, e ecosystem or ecological concept uh, there i need not have to tell you that what is ecology what is ecosystem right you are already covered that in your classroom program there right what is wildlife what is biodiversity why biodiversity important global warming climate change pollution right uh, all those areas you please revise there right because i will be focusing from current aspect of that so all the key concept will come into that all right so um, uh, we will go into that and uh, i thank all of you to join this crash course program and uh, i thank uh, ikra is for uh, inviting me to take this uh, challenging dynamic part of the uh, subject there all right so very soon we'll see into the uh, the topics of the prelims 2021 thank you thanks a lot